guys, welcome to my YouTube channel once again. My name is Kelwe IK Dollar, as you guys already know. <laughs> okay, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please, you have to do so right now. Please, please hit the subscribe button so you can be getting updates on all my videos. A big shout out to Lagos Jump Radio. Thank you so much. Can you see the ambience, the space? Yes, this is Lagos Jump Radio and they stream the best of Afrobeat music. So if you want to listen to great music, you need to be listening to Lagos Jump Radio. And it's pretty simple. Download the app from your Play Store, voila, and get access to great music and 100% entertainment. Now, that being said today, I don't know what I should term my topic for today, but I want to talk about procreation. I think that's the word, like having children. I observed in recent times that a lot of women are just giving birth. They don't even, they're not even concerned about how they want to take care of the children you're gonna, they're giving birth to. Now, what made me start to talk about this, I ran into somebody very recently, she was a, she's a lady that I know, and I know that when I was pregnant for my son, she was pregnant with me too, or something or there about, and she already has like two kids, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, like two. So I ran into her, it's been a year, and I ran into her and she's pregnant again. But the sad thing about it is she just lost her husband. I mean, I when I saw her, she had lost her husband like a week, you know, till that day. And I saw her, her tummy was already out. And I'm like, oh my God. I felt bad. Like, where is Suma going to start from? She has three kids already. And there's another one that we making for. And then she just lost her husband. And she's really not even doing anything right now. So that's what that's what that's what motivated me to say, you know what? I need to talk about this thing. See, eh? Childbirth is good. And I know a lot of you say, Oh, God sent us into the world and said we should go out there, we should go and procreate, go out and multiply the earth. But God didn't say you should go out and have kids that you could you cannot take care of. This thing is not rocket science. Let's use our number six for a second. Imagine if you're alone and you had maybe one child kids to look after even if maybe your husband leaves you or god forbid your husband is late or something it will be easy for you to take care of them because they are not a lot it's just two even it will be difficult to for that for those two but i mean it's just two but when you you have four five on only you how are you going to cope even if it is you and your husband the country is hard enough so you need to start taking precaution on your own that is why there's something called family planning. Family planning will help you. You can still have, you know, be sexually active with your husband, your spouse, and not get pregnant. That's why that thing was created. But we just put that thing aside and we just, you know, you just jump in the sack. See, let me tell you something. You cannot have kids and not be putting the burden of your children on other people. I'm not trying to be hot, but I'm saying even the people who have two, they want to give the two the best. So they themselves, they are struggling, trying to see how they can give their child the best. Then you now come with your own like five and not be begging for one. When you could have just had like two or three and just look after them on your own. See, and to be honest, I feel like two is even enough because nobody knows tomorrow. Your husband may be the breadwinner. What happens, God forbid, if anything, you and your husband gets separated or he doesn't have money anymore. How do you not take care of those two? It becomes difficult. So what am I saying at the end of the day? Don't just have kids because you feel like, oh, I just want my children. I don't want to have many children. So at the end of the day, they'll take care of me. I hear some people say things like, oh, my wife just needs somebody to keep her company. So then I just have one more baby. And I wonder where that kind of mentality is coming from please take family planning seriously so that you don't end up suffering it is stress on you it's stress on all your family members because they will have to give you money they will see you suffering they have to help you if they don't help you you say they're wicked but you don't know that even they themselves they might not even have take advantage of family planning please if you know your income is not very good one child is enough two maximum if you know you're not any because school fees is expensive if you want to take your child to a good school you're going to spend money feeding home car you buy rice you buy gary you buy all those things so you don't need to have government is not going to pay you money don't even get it twisted in nigeria if you have five they're not going to pay you money if you have ten they won't pay you you'll be the one to suffer at the end of the day some of those children end up being touts on the road they turn to have bureau because you're not even looking out for them they have to hustle on their own they enter i see them around they're begging some of them now start doing pickpocketing because they need to eat you're not there for them have kids that you can take care of. Have kids that you know that confidently on my own. If push comes to shove, I can hold this thing down. Even some people who are rich today that want to have like six or seven, you don't even know whether tomorrow you still have money. 
anything can happen and you're not that rich anymore what then happens to the kids look at the people who are rich look at barack obama go and see how white people they don't have kids anyhow they don't believe that you must have millions but nigeria you know how people are now be giving birth up and down so please take advantage of family planning walk into any healthcare center it is affordable i think at some i think it's even cheap you know or you pay just a token they would help you with family planning so you don't have to get pregnant every time you sleep with your husband yes <laughs> that's my message for all the ladies today and even the men encourage your wives to take advantage of family planning to save you a lot of trouble to save them a lot of trouble as well and everybody is happy you don't need to run to any man to help you feed your children you can take care of them they're not a lot whether it's one whether it's two only you are okay you can look after them having more than that is a problem so think you know, before you start having kids.